Welcome to the NCAA Tournament Selection Show on CBS. I'm Gus Johnson along with the governor, Coach Bill Raftery. Let's get to it. As the selections are coming in, Bill, which schools are still on the bubble? All of these schools are on the bubble, Gus. They each had great seasons, but as we all know, the committee must get down to 64 schools and a playing game. It's not going to be easy. Here are this year's top seeds in the tournament. Gus, these schools are the big boys. This year's finest. It will be interesting to see which, if any, will be in the NCAA final. Now, let's show you the four regional brackets, starting with the West region. Gus, most people tend to focus at the at-large teams. The seeding of the teams is what takes the most amount of time. It's not easy to... Gus, this is a really tough bracket. The team who makes it out of this bracket may not have enough fuel in the tank to compete in the Final Four. Now let's take a look at the 16 teams in the East region. Uh, some of the most exciting games are in the 8 seed versus the 9 seed. It's usually between two evenly matched teams. I can't wait to see this region's 8-9 matchup. And finally, the South region. What can I say here, Gus? There are some really good teams here. Rats, it appears as though the power conferences are well spoken for. While you'd like to see some of the smaller programs get into the tournament, it's hard to penalize a team that finishes fourth, fifth, and sometimes sixth in a major conference. Well, Mr. Raftery, the speculation is over and the feud of 64 is set. How about summing things up for us? Based on all that has unfolded this evening, here are my predictions. Check out my sleepers and team to beat. It'll be interesting to see what will happen. Only time will tell, Gus. Thanks to Bill Raftery for joining us. The NCAA tournament is set and ready to go. This has been a CBS presentation. For Bill Raftery, this is Gus Johnson. So long.